What's up my fellow Windows fans, it is me Christian Hermita here for Hermita Tech and today I have a Windows 8 developer preview running on my MacBook Pro. Now you must be thinking for all you Apple fans out there, this guy is crazy for having Windows on his computer but I am running it through a virtual machine on Parallels. So first of all I want to say that Windows 8 looks so much like Windows 1.0. Here's a cool graphic to compare the two and man they look awfully familiar. Uh, with the tiles and the color and everything it looks just like Windows 1.0 now with the new interface when you first start up your computer this is what you see this is your new start menu so no more traditional boring start menu now you got apps now you got tablet now you have swipe ooh and you can uh, rearrange your apps and put them in however you think is fit and however you like there I'm just moving my five back in place so you can see how it originally came with the developers preview and you can see your first little uh, window I guess you have your desktop control panel Internet Explorer all the essentials and you have two cool apps called Socialite and Tweetorama and uh, Tweetorama allows you to see your Twitter feed live and Socialite combines all of your social media just like TweetDeck does and there you have the control panel which is really should be called user settings because it isn't actually the full control panel where you can change your resolution and hardware and all that so let's go into the desktop and check it out now we're in the desktop and you can see I have the command line running there and it actually took me a while to figure out how to get to the command line I had to go to the Windows start menu and press search and I was searching for this command line as opposed to going to start and saying run command so I really didn't like having to search for apps through that way I would prefer just seeing a you know a list and if I would like to run another app, I have to go over and, and click on the app and it's just it's annoying to me. Now another cool feature though about this is the little spaces that are kind of invisible at first and I accidentally discovered these and you kind of roll over to the side and you can get back to your desktop easily or any other applications that you have open. I thought that was one of the pretty cool features about Windows 8 and maybe one of the only great features. So here I have the control panel like I mentioned before it is more of a personalized panel as you see on top. Uh, you can't really do much for major tweaking here. It, it does show some preferences but not all. You can't really change your display settings. You can't really manage your hardware. It's, you have to go to more settings and you click on that. And then it brings you here to the real control panel that everyone's used to for accessing all of their important information. I didn't really like how that uh, was integrated there and how it's a little bit misleading. Now my major gripe about this new Windows OS is that you cannot run apps side by side. Just like on your iPad or your iPhone, you have to open each app individually and you can't really put them side by side. They can multitask, but they cannot be integrated together. So someone who needs to use applications side by side, say Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator or any other application that works well with another you really can't do it in Windows 8 so I really do not like that I think that's a huge flaw in the graphical user interface and I also think it's a huge deterrent to the whole experience of Windows 8 itself well there you have it guys my quick review there of Windows 8 developers preview I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what you guys think about Windows 8 and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at chermita and subscribe